What's up everyone? This is Lady Jules on the B-Girl website and I'm sitting here with Teresa Espinosa, my fellow beat freak and friend. So I was an assistant choreographer as well as a choreographer to the movie B-Girl. Can they get a shot on the side? I worked with Jules, um, two solos actually, the opening credits and her poem solo that she does at the end of the movie and uh, we just had a lot of fun together. No, it's, it's true. Before, you, you just go. <laughs> Flips basically asked me to be there for him and, and just be an outside eye. If y'all are back more, you can catch this angle better. But don't go, don't go past her if you're on this side. It was unique with her because her talent level is so high. I feel like she pulled out the best in me and I and I hopefully pulled out the best in her. The more you're closer to them, the more we can. And it's totally like a collaboration. It it's like having your best friend there to kind of keep you in check. Yeah. <laughs> to be considered a big girl, you have to be a strong, dedicated woman to go in the circle and put your heart out there, especially because it's so male dominated. It's almost like a superpower. Like, big girl. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> I held my breath for that long. I'm always amazed when she really gets in that groove. I'm like, holy crap, you do that? <laughs> you really spit on your head? That's insane! For the movie to be called Bee Girl, you have to have that authenticity. Knowing the people that were involved with this movie, they, they're the real deal. Hopefully, it'll shed a new light on breaking and women involved in it. One of our main reasons for doing the show was to hopefully inspire a new generation of women. Thank you so much for tuning in. There's going to be plenty more videos about B-Girl, about the process and the story and all the good juicy stuff that you want to hear. And do not forget to freak the vote. Beat freaks, freak the vote. The girl power. And guys too. <laughs> Look, I just copied everything. <laughs>